We are getting ready for Kenya. This is how close I came for growing eggplant. What do you think, boss? Are you agree? This is not good, huh? Okay. Tomorrow we can cook some duck egg. Ugh, that would be so nice. Bonzu, you're not allowed to touch those. After our first big clutch of chicks hatched, we got two more broods, and one of our ducks also started brooding her eggs. They take 35 days till they hatch. We've been feeding the chicks a mixture of egg and different seeds. We've been pounding it and we've been feeding this mixture to them. when we went to buy these timbers for the roof and these two pieces and they're amazing they're really really beautiful they were just lying down around so now I sandpaper it and then I will put oil on top of it oil gonna to do magic the, all the patterns of the wood gonna to come out and it will look so good I promise you This one is done. This side of it. We need to turn it and put it in other side also so termites they don't eat. While we were out running errands and getting lunch, Bonzo protected his territory and the chicks. I heard the chicks, chickens, everyone is shouting. And I see neighbor cat just catching the chicks. And I just got there on time. Yeah. Luckily everyone survived. It was a close call. Yeah, but don't worry, you will be fine till at least we are here. Cutting with the saw is much more easier than knife. <laughs> now you can just put this inside of the soil and it will stay like this for months. So next rain season, again, you can plant it and you have a cassava. Just another shopping day. 
car tire. This is why we really need a strong frame and bicycles like a mule. I think the first duckling has hatched. There's an empty shell here but I don't see the duckling. Don't worry. We can hear eggshell cracking all the time. All of the ducklings are hatching. It can take anywhere between 12 hours to 48 hours, which is much longer than what it takes for a chick to hatch. I really can't wait to see them. We thought bonus were not to eat the chicks, but now the chicks are eating this food every day. <laughs> Poor Bonzo. <laughs> you listen so well and you don't hurt the chicks, but they eat your food instead. They don't listen to you. Should we tell them to go? Okay, bye bye. That's it. Leave some for Bonzo, thank you. We had eleven egg under her and all of them did hatch. Now we have 11 healthy ducklings. This will be a nice playground for the ducklings. Ducklings to you very fast. Okay? Good. They are coming very fast. Oh, you're so soft. Look how cute you are. Oh, you need. And it's so big. This is just one day old. Not the sleeping one first. Our only yellow one? It's so yellow. <laughs> okay, go in here. Don't worry. Here's your brother or sister. Now all of this one in the blue is Okay. This is what this bloody bastard does. No respect. No respect. Junior, I will eat you because of this. I promise you that. Go out. Go out. Go out. thing is water. Ducks, they always need the water. It's the first day they are out. It's amazing. really 
really good friend. Whenever I come out of the home, when he's thirsty, he comes there and he starts to look at me and makes this donkey sound. That's the way he asks for water. I don't know why owner doesn't give enough water. Really. They love papayas. Pizza. See, I also love it. The ducklings love this running water and also to walk around in the mud. We started preparing to leave the Gambia, to fly to Kenya and continue our world tour in East Africa. We are getting ready for Kenya. I watch them everywhere. I, I say I hope is Matilda approved. <laughs> there was so much dirt and a mold from the rain season in these bags. I hope we got rid of especially mold. We will see. By the way, these bags have been doing really, really a great job for us. We've been really happy with them. They've been very durable and waterproof. And the papayas are growing really well. Look at these ones. <laughs> Not sure if we will eat it or not. What do you think? You think we will eat the papayas before we go? I hope at least the oldest ones will be ripe at that point. They have been growing for a long time. That would be very nice to eat a papaya from our own planted tree. Yeah. Yeah, I really didn't expect this tiny little plant that was like as thick as a spaghetti to grow and give us papayas before we leave. Amazing how they, they grow really fast, actually. Thirsty? Before we leave to Kenya, we need to do some remont job in the, in the garden. There's a two pipes are broken, one is this one and one is over there, so I'm trying to fix those one now. But interesting thing, this is our tool we carry it on our bicycle for opening cassette and pedal and those sort of things. Hell, it is such a useful tool. Okay. 
Okay. One side here. Other side here. We are going to the market to buy some chicken food. So when we go, more doesn't have to buy food for them for a couple of months. So here we have all different kind of feed for the chicken. Seven kilograms of that one, please. We buy around 25 kilos, so it will be enough for them for uh, over a month. Seven kilos, how much it costs in the euro? Is it this one have been powdered, yeah? Is it this? Okay, this, this is for the small chicken, this one for the big, big chicken. chicken. Okay, cool, yeah. Wheat. Wheat, okay, yeah, okay, good. Powder. I think our ducklings can eat that, apparently. Oh, yes. Yes, fine. All right, good. Good. Was, what was the name? Tata, yeah? That's it on. Three more. Okay, let me write that. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. Three and five. Okay, I got that. Oh. There is always a traffic jam somewhere. Let's see how long it takes to get out. We'll be interesting, really. Alright, You want coffee? Hello. Hello. You want coffee? You okay? Yeah. You came here? Okay, we are going. Okay, okay. see you later. Bye bye. Okay, bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice nest cafe. Woo, strong. It's like an espresso. I really love this kind of shopping. It's so much fun. There's people, there's life. It's just amazing. Brilliant. Made from recycled material. At the market, we also got some souvenirs. Baobab fruit, dried hibiscus flower that makes a tasty berry flavored tea. And bowls made from the calabash fruit. These are calabash and in old days they used to carry water inside of these ones. It was a lifesaver. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you, bro. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh. Hello, hello. Very thin. They are so light. How many should we get? Uh, one for Ossi. Ooh, look at those. Mamma mia. I love this axis. This is for digging. And this is the axe. This place has been burned. So it doesn't get rotten, it doesn't get water in, and it is stronger. How much? Sir? Last, last time, my brother, he just come here. Yeah. 100, okay. Uh, yeah, no Okay. Can you come in? Thank you. Thank you. Chickens are happy. Hello. On the way back in a small cozy restaurant, 
we had an omelette sandwich for lunch. Mm. Hello. Hello. Party time! Oh. I don't have a tool so I use a heated knife. Our chicks love to sit in the papaya tree. Oh. Yeah, and the automatic water feeder will be like this. And this steel bowl. I will make one hole here and one hole in the other side. And then I need another hole. The water is going to come till that level. Okay, means like this, look. First hole is here. The second hole, if it's here, water is going to come up till this hole. And as much as the birds they drink, when the water goes lower than this air hole, the water is going to come out from the hole in the bottom till it reaches the second hole. So, there you go. That's it, ready to go. Now while we clean it, fill it up with the water. Look like this. This fruit should be enough for them for at least for a month, at least. We packed up all of our things and it was time to leave the Gambia to go back to Finland where we repacked to continue our tour in East Africa. with a snowfall. One bag is missing, we don't know what is even inside of it. That's really annoying. My frame was damaged pretty badly on the flight to Finland. And what happened when we tried to leave for Kenya? Thanks for watching, we are back on the road. From the heat of Africa to the Arctic cold here in Finland and now we are cycling even further north. So. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you don't already, then you get more frequent updates. And subscribe because we will keep making vlogs from this trip. And if you want to support our channel, you're welcome to join our Patreon. And there's a link in the description below. You can order a postcard or there's a link to our PayPal. And now the road is bad and I need to say bye. Cheers and see you later. <laughs>